What's up guys? Welcome back to Daily Ed, where you get smarter daily. In this video, we're going to talk about the second part of the problem in my previous video. And that link is going to be somewhere in the annotation. Now, if we recall from the last video, we had to find an expression for delta velocity, or change in v, which equals to final velocity minus initial velocity, which ultimately equals acceleration times time. This expression was derived from one of the kinematic equations that says that v final equals to v naught plus a t, which is simply stated is right here. Just move this to the other side, and we have uh, v naught plus a t. Now, the, the only thing is, is that for part two of this video, we have vb and we have an acceleration 6.91 meters per second squared. They actually give us acceleration and we have to find uh, v sub b. That's what we have to find. In order to find that, we have to remember two concepts that we learned from physics. First concept is what we just derived, which is final velocity minus initial velocity equals to the change in velocity, which ultimately equals to acceleration times time. Second concept we gotta learn we got to know is change in x divided by change in t equals to average velocity, which usually is denoted like that. So with that in mind, we had established that we had point A, which is checkpoint, and we had point B. The distance between these was 108 meters, 108 meters, and our acceleration given now is 6.91 meters per second squared, right? And we also had a change in time, which equals to 4.32 seconds. So now we go back to our kinematics equations and we try to find one kinematics equation that gives us all of the values that the problem has given us. So in order to do that, let's set, our, let's, set apart, let's set some space apart to note every, uh, every variable that we have. So we have an acceleration of 6.91 meters per second squared. We have a uh, change in x, which was given at 108 meters. We have a change in time, which was given as 4.32, sorry guys, seconds. And we also have the expression we, which we had derived earlier, which uh, we know is VB minus VA equals to change in V. We also have that. Um, and let's just add this one, which is the same one, but it includes everything. So we have change in V, V sub B minus V sub A she goes acceleration, change in time, right? So note that these two right here, it's the same as V final minus V initial, and it's the same expression that we had earlier. So how are we gonna do this? First of all, we don't know V, V naught. We don't know this one. So we have to find an expression that substitutes for, uh, for V naught with the given values. So what do we do? We isolate VA, our plan is to isolate V sub A and put it in terms of V sub B because we, 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 that's what we want to find. So let's go ahead and do that with this expression. So we, by doing that, we get, we uh, add it to this side and subtract V, uh, change in V. So we get V sub B minus change in velocity is equal to VA. This expression is the one that we're gonna the one that we're gonna need. Now, what equation, what other kinematic equation has all of these values that we had just identified? If we look back at our kinematics, we have one that says change in x equals open parentheses v naught plus v final close parentheses over two all of this times the change in time. Right? So we have x, we have time, we don't have this, we want to find this, and this is just a two. So now, in order for us to do this, we have to divide by time, 
to get an expression that says change in x over change in time equals v naught plus v final over 2. This right here is what we had mentioned earlier is the average velocity. So simply put, this could be same as this. Simply put, it can be the same. So now that we have this, now that we have this, we have our x, we have our t. We want to substitute. We want to substitute v a. So how do we do that? Well, same thing. We keep everything aligned. Now the only thing is here VA, instead of actually putting a VA value, we're going to go on top and we're going to plug this one in. V sub B minus delta V. So that's what we're going to do. Instead of plugging this in, we're going to plug in what we have on top. So with that in mind, we have V sub B minus change in velocity that plus v sub b and then all of this over 2. Notice how it's the equivalent. It is the exact same thing to say. Now let me just grab another sheet of paper I'm running out of space. With this in mind, with this in mind, let's just uh, write it down again. Change in x over change in time equals v sub b minus change in velocity plus v sub b over 2. So now we, now we want to isolate v sub b. We want to isolate v sub b by itself. So how do we do that? Well, we know that this is all over 2, so we multiply 2 to the other side. 2 change in x over change in t equals here, these two terms can be added together because they're the, same, they're the same exact thing. So we have 2 v sub b minus change in velocity. So now we uh, add change in velocity to the other side, leaves us with 2 change in x over change in t plus change in velocity, which equals 2 v sub b. By dividing 2 to everything, we do this and we do this. This goes away. We're left with change in x over change in t plus one half change in v equals v sub b. If you notice, what exactly does change in v mean? Well, as I mentioned earlier, here it is. Change in velocity equals to acceleration times time. So we now we know that we have all the values we need to plug in to make this true and to give us a numerical answer. So with this in mind, we had given a distance of 108 divided by 4.32 seconds plus one half an acceleration of 6.91 times times the time same time of 4.32 seconds and this gives us an answer of 39.9256 meters per second and there you guys have it